on. It's just my chair. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I wanted to make a video because there has been a little negativity going on, as I see in the group, from um, some people who aren't having success, which I completely understand you getting frustrated. But a lot of times when people are starting out, they either want to be perfect and get it right the first time, and so they spend a lot of time going through, you know, all the different resources of the ways that they can promote and how to do it and what should they say and which, and you know what, that's fine, that's great, that's awesome, you need to do that. But you don't need to do it all in the beginning, all at once. Because what you're going to do is put yourself on information overload. You're going to frustrate yourself, which is actually going to hinder the creative juices in your mind that can come up with great advertisements and stuff like that to start really driving traffic to your website. And I noticed there's been a little bit of the blame game going on. You have to understand something. What we show you and what we teach you are guidelines. They are ideas to help you to get started, but they are not the be all end all of advertising. There is so many websites and so many places that you can advertise on, but we show you these specific ones because they're free and they're good to get you started. But you're going to need to do a little organizing at first if you want to lighten up your load a little bit because I want to show you how easy it is and how not time-consuming every day it is to actually just post in all these different places to drive traffic to your site. It's what I do. I don't spend a lot of time every day posting. I even, uh, to be honest with you, I'll go days just because I don't feel like it, which is wrong, but you know, it's the beautiful thing of when you work for yourself, if you don't feel like working, you just don't. <laughs> And I, I like I do that. Some days I wake up and I'm like, man, I don't feel like doing anything. So I'll just kind of like, you guys wonder why I'm so fast on the tech support with all of you. That's because I don't feel like working and I feel like hanging out and just helping you guys. So I want to show you um, some wonderful things that you can do to help speed up the process and make things easier on you. So what I personally do, okay, is I make sure I prepare. And once you do this one time, you will always have it and you can keep adding to it and adding to it. But I want to show you what I do. I have certain, um, uh, what do you call it, advertisements that I pre-write out. I have them in a document and it depends, you know, I have one for Facebook, I have one for IDEO Toolbox, you know, for the different ads that I want to promote, how I want to promote it, so that all I need to do once I've taken, I took the time to do it, it took me an under, you know, less than an hour to create a document and put a ton of different um, advertisements in there and come up with things that were original and different from everybody else, then you save it and you always have it. And then every day, all you need to do is copy and paste it into the different locations of places to advertise. So let me show you for an example how quickly you can do this. I'm going to go into my marketing folder here. I'm going to go into advertising. As you can see, I've got IBO promos that I use, my EN promos that I use, um, MCA. I don't even know why I have that. I can delete that. I don't even use MCA. Um, so let's go into Facebook. Okay, I've got pre-written ads right here that I do. Okay, all com containing links, little short, you know, make them want to click kind of ads. That's it. All done, all pre-written out. And so all I need to do is if I want to, you know, promote one, I can't use the Google things anymore. I got to replace them with my other, um, other links. But as you can see, look at how many I have. And they don't take long to do it at all. Um, so you just kind of sit you know, come up with something and, all right, so look, all right, so let's say I'm just going to go use this one. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to spend time promoting this one today. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? Oh, let's just go over to IBO Toolbox. Why not? I'm going to log in here and I'm going to do a promo on the wall because they, the, the outside sources that see this are a lot of people. So I'm just going to go copy, paste, send a wall. Wait for it to refresh. Bam. Okay, that's done. Well, let's see. I'm going to throw one up on my Google Plus. Why not? So I'm going to go to my Google Plus. I have everything bookmarked in my bookmarks bar, so I don't have to type anything out. Um, just going to put it in there. There we go. Send it out to my circles, public, brands, stuff like that. Share. Boom. Okay, that's done. 
Oh, let's head on over to Facebook. Now I can't get to my Facebook because this is in the way. Hold on a second. Um, let me move this up here. At least you can see my little linkies. I'm going to go to Facebook. Oh, why not? I'll just go ahead and throw this up on my wall just for fun. <sighs> there we go. And I can post, but I don't want to post this one because um, I like the ones with the images. Uh, then let's say I just wanted to shoot it out to all my groups. I'm going to go to my Hootsuite. And I'll go to my messages here once it finishes loading. And copy and paste that into there. I don't use the URL shortener. Select all my groups. Take it off my Twitter. And then click send delayed. Actually, I'll schedule this for later because I'm just going to go ahead and 11.05 p.m. And I'll mess with that later. So look, that's done. Okay, so blogger.com. I don't think I can get to, let me see, blogger. Okay, new post. Awesome. I'll just throw my little advertisement into a new post on my blogger. Publish. I'm not going to share them with the same circles because I already did that on my other thing. Oh, let's go to Pinterest. And let's go here. And as you can see, I have other advertisements. I'm not going to bother put, putting the same advertisement, but I got other advertisements that are up in here. Do you see how fast you can promote? It's quick. And another thing, with the IBO toolbox wall, you can post you don't you know you don't have to do one post and then a day you can go back there throughout the day throw a couple more posts up there no big deal um, I, there's just it's it doesn't have to be as time consuming as a lot of people make it to be it doesn't need to be like that you just take the time in your spare time to sit down and write out a whole bunch of pre-written catchy title ads that you think will make people want to look or click and then you simply put your referral link underneath it underneath each one so all you need to do is copy and paste then you know if I'm not gonna send it out to my with my Hootsuite because sometimes we get slapped sometimes we don't then you know I'm just gonna go down to my groups and I've got it to copy and paste manually into the groups so all I need to do is just oh it's Grab a group here. I'm going to click it, open it. Look at that. Control. And bam. Done. And I go through all my groups and do that. And then I change up the ads. So I'll select a different one. If I'm like, all right, I've, I've been doing that too much. Um, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Copy that. Close it out. Um, go back to my groups. Click on another one. And... There we go. So it's you just it just depends on how you set it up before you start doing it and then develop a routine daily. That's why we say do it every day. The more resources that you add into your advertising, which as you can see is not difficult, then the more your links are going to get out there, the more you're going to be seen. You know, jump into Craigslist. It takes five minutes for you to do your Craigslist ad. Just don't get it ghosted by using words like get paid daily, 100% free, instant payday network. Just put in a little something, make them want to click, and go. Once a day. That's it. Just once a day. And if you do these things with these kinds of different networks, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find that you're going to start seeing more traffic. But if you're just limiting yourself to a couple of free classified ads online, that's like people trying to find you, you know, as a needle in a haystack. You've got to get out there. The more you get it out there, the more people are going to see it. The more people see it, the more they come to your website. The more they you bring to your website, the greater your chances of people going through with the program and converting, which is obviously going to make you the money. So if you're just relying on just one or two things and you're making it really difficult for yourself, you're going to get very frustrated. You're going to call it a scam. You're going to call it names. You're going to do the blame game. 
And the only one to blame is yourself. And I'm not being mean about that at all. It just means that you need to reorganize yourself and set a daily goal or a daily um, schedule of how you're going to post. So all you need to do is just take the time to sit down and let your brain be creative. Do not make your advertisement sound like anybody else's. Those will not get attention. Okay, especially when you're going up in, in like in Facebook groups against so many different people that are advertising so many different things. I find the shorter I make an advertisement, the more curiosity I stir up, which gets me more links to my website. And then I take them to my website and let them read all up about it. And then they understand, you know, that it is real and they follow through. This is how I get my leads. Create yourself a Facebook fan page. I've got two of them here. Um, and it's, they're awesome. And I've really reached out to, you know, a lot of people and a lot of people have reached out to me. I'm going to make a video. If you don't know how to make a Facebook fan page, I will make a video showing you how to do it. And then I'm also going to make another training video to show people how to make tabs. Because if somebody comes to my Facebook fan page here, clicks on my YouTube, they're getting all of my YouTube videos. How awesome is that? Look at that. Everything you find on my YouTube channel is now on my Facebook fan page. All right. So people can see. First thing they see is my income testimonial and the proof that I make money um, and all the training that I provide. So I will show people how to make a Facebook fan um, fan tabs as well. Oops. Let me go back. This little thing is in my way, so I can't really see. Um, and then, hold on a second, let this load. And here, look at this. I have my own capture page on my Facebook. Okay? Um, that's another thing that you can do. There's tons of things you can do, but if you're limiting yourself to just a couple of things, you're never going to really be able to expand and see exactly um, all the other things that you can do to reach out to people. I mean, this is just my fan page. I got, you know, I got likes on it. People communicate with me. They find me. Um, there's all kinds of tabs here. I got more videos. I got a Pinterest button um, here. These are other tabs that I'm creating for other things. I've got our Women's Lounge Hangout. I got our Prosperity Team Hangout application so that I can invite people straight to my fan page and they can come and check out the Hangouts. And if they missed it, they've got a week to watch it. They can scroll down, read through all of the comments about the Hangout. There's so many things that you guys can do. So don't limit your yourself to just a few things. Don't rely on just free classified ads because in my personal opinion, most of them suck if you're not doing them in the right place. Very important. You want to make sure that wherever you're posting, it's where there's a lot of eyes that are going to see it. So take your time before you do any other promoting. I don't care what, it, before you do any other promoting, I want you to take your time and I want you to open up a Word document and I want you to grab your referral link and sit down and create one sentence headers that will capture somebody's attention. Stay away from everything else that everybody does. What we show you in our advertisement training um, or in the um, the classified ads and stuff like that, those are just examples. Those are just to give you an idea. Do not copy and paste those verbatim. You will not get traffic. But it gives you an idea so that maybe something will click in your head and go, oh, okay, well, that's not bad. Maybe if I wrote it like this and then say to yourself, okay, if I had never seen this ad before and I was scrolling through something, would I need to know more? Would that make me want to click? I did one one time. I kid you not. <laughs> All I said was, you have got to be kidding me. Really? That was it. That was it. Click, 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 click. The shorter, the better. Make it attention grabbing. Make people go, well, what the hell is she talking about? Or what the heck is he talking about? Click on it and get to your website. These are not tricks at all. This is just plain knowledge. <laughs> And I'm sharing it with you. And this is what we constantly try to get through to any of our new, newer members. And then please make sure, you see, you guys don't understand how lucky you are. Anybody who knows me knows when I started, 
I had no clue either, just like a lot of position that, that a lot of people are in when they're joining. I had no clue either how to do this. I didn't, I kid you not. I had a referral link and I had to Google what is a referral link. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what I, I had to do with it. I wasn't lucky enough like all of you are to have a free website, to have training within that website, to have a Facebook group to go to, to have, you know, a file section where there's all kinds of links and tutorials and, you know, members just pitching in and, and helping. And it, I didn't have any of that you have no idea how lucky you are because there's so many people online that find other opportunities like I did with the first one and don't have a fraction of the resources that we give you so use them as guidelines and don't be afraid to expand out use Google and YouTube as your best friends find new social networking sites find places to write blogs on you got blogger.com you can go to Squidoo um, and start writing um, on Squidoo that's another high traffic site so it's up to you we're just what we give you is to get you started in the right direction Okay, once you get started and once you apply one or two of these, then add another, add another, and then start exploring for more that we don't even know about. Because if you can find more, which you can, and it's very easy to do because there's thousands and thousands of social networking sites out there, and you find a great one, has a lot of people, guess what? All that traffic is yours because none of us know about it. So none of us are going to be posting there. So get creative and change your mindset, everybody. Don't call it a scam. Don't blame people for, you know, things because it's not working for you. If it's not working for you, it's because you just need to tweak things out and make it your own. And don't be afraid to get out there and put it out there. That's what it's all about. And that is how you're going to find your success. Not just with Instant Payday Network, but any single opportunity you come across online. There's going to be work in the beginning. Yes, because you have to give yourself time to learn. And once you learn, did you see how simple you just saw me post on what three websites and under what a couple of minutes? And if you do that every day for an hour or two, imagine how many eyes are looking at your content and how much more traffic you're going to drive to your website. So I know I've been talking for like, what, eight, 17 and a half minutes now, but it's very, very important. I wanted you to see that you can do it quickly. So write, write up a whole bunch of ads, include your link in each of them, get your bookmarks ready for the places that you post in. If there's things you haven't joined yet, take a couple of minutes and join them. Get, get active on Google+. Plus. You also want to get active on Google+, Plus communities. I also have training for that as well. Now, they just changed a whole bunch of things here on Google+. Plus. Let's see here. Whoops. Look at Google+, Plus communities. So you, you create your... Oh, stop it. It's so glitchy. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Look, click on communities. And you can start joining communities here. You can create a community if you want to. You go join the communities. Make sure you can post. Oh, look, there's they've got another wall I can post on. Look at that. Okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use this either. But just make a daily ritual out of it and you will find success. If you're doing this and you're not finding success, all it means is simple tweaks to the way you're wording things. That's all. Just get creative. That's all you got to do and you're going to be in like Flynn. So don't give up. Don't get angry and don't blame everybody. We're giving you so much that so many people don't have access to and you're getting it all for free. So I really hope this video helps to open your eyes a little bit about how much easier this can be um, for you to make on yourself by just doing these simple things. And before you know it, you're going to see a huge difference, I hope. So blessings, everybody, and thanks for watching. I know it was long, but you really need to see it. <laughs> Ciao, everyone.